Good morning. Hi, this is Travis from the National Weather Service, and this is your weather hazard briefing for Tuesday, March 8th. We do have a significant system that's going to move across the region today. It's an Arctic uh, air mass that's going to drop down from our north um, and combine with some moisture that's moving in northwest flow. It'll bring some um, accumulating snow across the region, particularly some significant snow for our um, eastern and southeastern areas where we have some winter storm watches and advisories in a place. Um, past this, when this goes through, um, we will have some very cold air record uh, temperatures on Tuesday morning and Tuesday afternoon, um, record lows and probably record low highs um, for Tuesday. And that cold will extend into Friday. And then temperatures will slowly moderate uh, to near normal by Saturday and particularly by Sunday um, across the region with high pressure building back in. So here's that uh, northwest flow, and you can't quite see it, but there is a low that's in Montana that's, that's dropping. You can't see it in the clouds, but it is dropping cold air. It's just hitting the divide right now, and we are having precip just starting to hit in this northeast corner here. And that will continue all day and become more widespread, particularly by late this afternoon when the really cold air drops down and uh and continue into uh, the evening particularly early evening uh, will be the heaviest snowfall uh, so you can see here on the wrist matrix uh, our southeast highlands and eastern highlands are going to be have the, the strongest snow amounts um, potentially we could see some areas in the cross the snake plain uh, potential for a snow squall um, when that cold air drops down and particularly a, a convergence event so it could be at least some brief moderate um, impacts across the snake plain as well and that may extend to the Magic Valley, but right now it looks like just the Snake Plain, um, again, late this afternoon to early evening. Um, but we'll have continued. Um, it picks up pretty strong, like I said, higher snow rates by, by this afternoon, late this afternoon across the southeast and east highlands. And it continues to snow pretty, pretty strong through um, past midnight, and then it continues um, on, uh, but not as strong into to Wednesday as well. So we'll have winds, uh, particularly south, uh, we'll show you those winds here in a minute, but particularly some southwest winds across our eastern Magic Valley. Um, so our southern areas and western areas will be quite breezy to windy uh, today. And then we also have all that wind um, moving over the divide with all that cold air. And so I'll show you that here as well. But uh, just cold for Thursday and uh, not so much Friday, but still cold, um, well below normal. And then we become near normal by Saturday and then normal on Sunday. So here's where our advisories are. Uh, mainly it's for the, the wind and snow. I'll show you the amounts here in a minute. The stronger amounts in the 6 to 12 inch range are for where the pink areas are here for the winter storm mornings and the rest of these are advisories um, for a variety of wind and blowing snow and just uh, Generally, these areas across the Snake Plain will be one to three in the lower areas, and we're on the eastern benches, may get up to four. And then we'll also see, um, I'll show you those amounts in a minute. We'll pinpoint those. Uh, today, still uh, below normal quite a bit, but you can see um, any precip we get for the most part will all be uh, snow today. We will, may have a chance for some rain here early on in the eastern Magda Valley, but particularly the loft is very cold so it will it will it will turn to um, all snow if it, it has any rain at all here in the eastern Magic Valley um, pretty quickly and most of the other areas across um, you can see out here are all below 30 degrees so will all be snow right off the bat um, here are our wind gusts again I mentioned those southwest winds coming um, up this up the snake plain and so gust of 30 uh, even some gust of 40s in our mountain ridges here and then um, and also some gusts of uh, 40s in the Snake Plains, particularly on the mountain ridges. And you can see also some gusty in the Wasatch. Uh, we do, as, as we move into uh, tonight, we see that we have some northerly winds spilling over without cold air. Um, those will be um, quite impactful as well, particularly because they have snow combined with them. So some blowing snow. That's why we have the advisory up here in, these, in the, the northern areas. Um, not as much snow in the Eastern Magic Valley, but particularly in the mountains there are. So this will be very impactful in these mountain areas by, by Oakley and Switzer Summit with, with the snowfall that we're going to receive. Here's those snow amounts. Again, not a lot in the Snake Plain, generally the 1 to 3, but you can see as we get it near the benches, it's more in the 4 inches. 
and then as you get into these mountain areas definitely in the three to six range and then as you go um, over into the eastern portion we're starting to hit those eight pretty easy eight to ten we'll have some areas hit over 18 inches particularly the wasatch here maybe even up to 24 inches and i'll show you some of those probabilities here in just a second uh, central mountains generally in that one to um, you know, one to three inches down lower and then you know two to uh, four inches and then some areas will get six like the big lost um, range but mo for the most part not they won't s receive near as much snow as we're looking across the southeast highlands eastern and southeast highlands so here's a chance of two per uh, two inches or more and you can see pretty widespread um, near 100 percent if not 100 across the whole southeast highlands um, for a chance of getting two inches and um, here's the four inch you can see the wasatch eastern highlands uh, big holes and then also pomerel those areas um, southern highlands and the mountains and here's the eight inch or more um, near 100 percent still 90 90 to 95 to 100 percent in the wasatch of getting eight inches or more and becomes a lot less um, as, as you elsewhere but wasatch will get the one they get the most snow out of this this event here's our high temperatures for wednesday um, they are fairly low um, so this is high for wednesday so any lingering snow that occurs particularly the the, the snow across our southeast highlands um, again um, all snow and um, and here's our wind gusts for win the Wednesday morning. You can start to see we still have quite a bit of wind with this uh, cold air dropping in. That does uh, back off quite a bit by noon, and then by the afternoon it backs off even more, um, just in the 10 to 15 range. But it is quite windy, at least really early Wednesday morning, with all that cold air still filtering in. And then you can see by Thursday we have, uh, here's all our, our temperatures below freezing to our north and you know, zero single digits elsewhere. And um, and then as our highs, they're extremely, extremely low. Our highs should be um, in the f mid 40s. And you can see these, all, both of these pages here are mostly all records, not only for the low temperatures, but for the high temperatures. This will be a, a low daytime high. And then as you look at the wind chills, uh, Wednesday night and the Thursday morning, you can see these are all near negative 20. We'll so likely need a wind chill warning across our northern areas up here um, for the negative 20 or lower. And you can see still quite cold, um, below, below freezing those wind chill values. So it's still breezy, like I said. Um, <coughs> and here's uh, Thursday morning. So Wednesday night to Thursday morning, about the same. Um, winds do back off a little bit, so not as high, but still near negative 20 um, in the mornings there. Um, so again, a wind chill well, probably for our upper Snake Islands and northern Snake Plains probably being needed. High temperatures Friday do warm up um, near freezing for some areas, but most er most areas are still below freezing. And then as we get into, um, you can see the wind chills are not near as bad. Um, mostly that's just the temperature, not much wind on Friday. So with the high pressure building in, it get the winds drop off quite a bit by Friday. And then Saturday, hardly any wind, uh, but you can see our temperatures rebound really nicely, almost to normal in the mid 40s. And then uh, by Sunday, they are in the, the normal values. So a nice warm up after being so cold. And then you can see for our outlook, six to 10 day, we still look like we're fairly active. Looks like there's another system Maybe a slight chance of, of snow on, on Sunday, but, but as you go into early next week, um, quite pretty good chances that another event happens. Doesn't look to be quite as big as this one, but still out there. And then as you continue on, it looks like temperatures near normal um, with uh, more systems moving in that northwest flow, it looks like. So it's just to recap real quick, we have a strong uh, Arctic system that's gonna overspread our area today into Wednesday, bringing some widespread accumulating snow, particularly stronger snow amounts for our southeast and eastern highlands where we have winter watches and advisories into place. I mean, excuse me, um, it's not watches, they're actually warnings that's been upgraded. So that, that verbiage is wrong. So these are warnings has been upgraded from the watch. And then the, the wake of the, the storm, we will have uh, much colder temperatures on Thursday, 
record to near records, so very widespread records um, for Thursday morning lows as well as Thursday afternoon highs. It'll be uh, record lows for those highs. And then the temperatures will slowly moderate uh, Friday and uh, pretty quickly by Saturday and Sunday back to normal for the weekend. So that concludes the brief. If you have any questions, give us a call. Those numbers listed here. Thanks.